It's clear that next, next week the Governing Council will have to make this assessment, the assessment of whether progress so far has been sufficient to warrant a gradual unwinding of our net asset purchases. And in making its assessment, I think it's very important to consider the underlying growth of the economy and to what extent actually uh, this growth assessment that we have, the underlying growth, that we, the assessment that we make, is passing through to wages and price formation because at the end of the day, this is our mandate, it's price. So you make an assessment, you have a monetary policy which is very accommodative, you have a communication on the asset program which says that part can stop at some point, but following an assessment. And the assessment, if that assessment, which is basically whether prog sufficient progress has been made, etc. Now I go a little bit into, into that. Basically the three criteria that we have, we call it convergence, confidence and resilience. And that will be next week the uh, governing council uh, work to do. And that's what I'm preparing. Now on convergence, you have uh, first headline inflation must be on course to reach levels below but close to 2% in the medium term. So you have to make the assessment not that inflation today that you have reached the objective. We also say you need to be patient. It will be, take time. But you must first see, you see a path given the evolution of the economy, the closing of the output gap, some of the price pressures you see, for example, on the labor market now, the fact that capacity utilizations are high, the fact that economic conditions are good in spite of some slowing down of the economy. That sort of assessment, you have to see if the path of inflation that we have in our projection uh, is, you make an assessment on this. 